guys welcome back to the channel today with me i have crompton three star fan and crompton greaves xlr high speed so as you can see in previous videos i've showed you both these fans inside out but today i thought to compare both of these fans and see what's the major difference in between both of them so as you can see three star is xlr with high breeze motor and xlr is the high speed xlr also had a high breeze version without the medallion and the thick down rod so those are the few differences and rest i can show you so this is the xlr high speed this came with a down rod which was cut by the previous owner to nine inches you can see shackle is unoriginal i have put an original one temporarily you can see i have removed the capacitor i'm using it in another fan Download is loose. I, these have been kept aside for a month and a half now. So, thought best time to make a video is when they are uninstalled and do a comparison side by side of both the fans. Now, here as you can see, the three star it has a bellow with the canopy. So, let's unscrew this and it's move, moving due to the medallion as well. It's not coming up now. And the accelerator, you can see it was just running fan put aside, capacitor and all are inside of it. Now, let's remove the down rods and compare the motor and then tear down and see what's inside of both of them and see what's the major difference decide motor wise and then we'll do a blade test first we'll try it with the original blade sets and then we'll swap the blade sets and see how they perform. So as you guys can see, I've turned on the down rods and everything, I've removed the capacitor. Now you might be wondering how these canopies are standing. So this down rod is a bellow, this is a bellow on the down rod, canopies diameter are slightly bigger and this is like a covering which passes through the down rod. So this is, the 5 star one was completely metal, CNC down rod but this is plasticized cost cutting. Now let's move on from that and look at the motors. First thing here we have a 3 star motor, you can see this is a proper high breeze fan motor just with 3 star label and 3 star stuff. Have a look at the label, this is the connector and the wires, the wires are slightly hard I think due to over time usage, just hope they don't break on me, so shaft is slightly corroded, we can fix that. Looking from the side, the motor looks like a proper high breeze fan. I've removed the medallion. Yes, some grease has fallen out. I'll clean it up. No worries. Now coming to the X layer. This is as usual normal. Same like the high speed. These weren't labeled as X layer. I think the high speed ones, they were labeled as high speed only. So I'm not sure why that is and why it has happened. So we'll get to know all that mystery later on. I'm not even I'm not sure why. But rest you can see the wires and everything are in good condition, not toast like that. Now let's tear down the motors and see the windings. And yeah, show you the side, high speed, show you the bottom. This is scratched, needs a restoration. Might be. We'll do a side by side comparison as well. High breeze versus high speed, thickness difference. Now let's tear down the fans. So as you guys can see, both the motors are torn down. You can see the difference in body of the fans. With the high speed, flat body, and the rotor in this is on the upper body embedded rotor this is a high breeze the rotor is in the lower body and in the high breeze upper body no rotor just bearing it is a bearing need replacement it's compulsory you can see the shaft has a there's a hole for the medallion now we'll compare the status you can see there's a huge difference in this I'll put the high speed stator in this just for comparison you can see the size difference <laughs> and if I want I can 
close this but it won't work due to the high air gap and if I put the high speed body this is the high speed body on the high breeze you can see holes match but when you try to tighten it the thing will move it won't tighten properly and it won't work basically so this is a fail this doesn't work I've tried this and regretted it on some other fans now let's open it now we'll try the exact opposite high speed body with the high breeze thing now here you can see it fits but it won't rotate and if I close it it is near to getting closed but it won't there's no rotor in this so the fan won't even work so this is the most dumbest idea anyone would see on YouTube let's remove the cover now as we have done the basic comparison now let's compare the coils this is a 12 by 12 pole winding this is a 16 pole winding 16 pole not this stator came in the high this 16 pole stator this comes in the high breeze the new the new high breeze and it comes in the decay it's exactly same stator let me bring a decay stator for comparison but before that let's look at this stator from below same thing we'll put this stator back into the body nice let me get a decay stator so here is a decay stator 1990s decay 1990s mid 1990s decay 16 pole 16 plus 16 winding both are same same diameter interchangeable windings as you can see you you might notice i have rewired this fan just the old wires were toast like this but even worse than this so i had to change it and i guess this this is a small you know short but it's not exactly a short i'll explain it to you later on and you can see three wires green is the common red is the primary black is the secondary winding and here we have red is the secondary white is the primary and blue or blue is the secondary winding secondary or auxiliary here you can see blue red white black red green and this is also red blue black similar color coatings no difference whatsoever now let's assemble both of these fans you guys can see both the fans have been assembled now let's do a test run of both of them with original blades and then let's put 5 star blade on the XL air and XL air blades on the 5 star and see how they perform by interchanging the blades so guys as you can see the XL air is installed on the ceiling you might ask why is the height so less so as I told you previously this is a down dot which is cut to size by the previous owners so that is why even though it's on an external S hook, it still looks very high. So I know it might not be a proper comparison in airflow of both as the three star will be lower than this due to the longer down dot. But we can at least get a rough estimate by feel myself and I can tell you guys it might not be the best. But yeah, let's switch it on. So as you can see the airflow. I'm standing at the most corner of the room. I can still feel the airflow. It's typical of any fan to give such an airflow, even though these are deck air blades, these normally won't throw much airflow in the three blade configuration but this being a high speed motor it does work awesomely let's switch it off so now we'll put XLR blades on this 
sorry, we'll put three star blades on this, which are like the new decayer blades with the old shanks, and we'll see how that performs. Is there any slight difference in that? And then we'll put the three star on the ceiling and do the same. I don't have access to two side by side hooks at present, else I would have done the comparison in that way. Nonetheless, let's test it. So guys, the XLR is installed with the three star blades. Let's switch it on and see how it performs. So previously, XLR performed like a proper high speed motor. Now let's see how these blades spare. These are the 16 pole motor blades. So let's see what's the difference it makes. This is taking slightly lesser RPM. Airflow is the same, spread similar ways. Airflow is little bit thicker due to the blade settings, how the blade is. There is no major difference in both of them, airflow wise on this motor. This one slightly feels more airflow than the original blades of this on the 12 pole motor. Now let's switch it off. So now let's swap the motors. I'll put it in this download only so that we have a fair comparison and do a test run. Let's get started. So guys, as you can see the 3 star is finally installed. I did put it on its original download. It put it on the download of the XLR only for a fair comparison due to same height so let's switch it on it's a 16 pole motor so these blades are giving awesome airflow for a 16 pole motor but you know 16 pole motors are outdated and they won't give you much of comfort in very hot summer days compared to what these blades gave with the 12 pole of the XLR or perhaps the XLR with or the high speed with its original configuration. In 16 pole, Decayer will give you comfort because it's a 4 blade fan but 3 blade 16 poles are outdated and of no use. 4 blade 16 poles are still good. But yeah, considerably this gives nice airflow and what I have tested with the XLR, this is no match to the XLR, XLR being a 12 pole motor, it offers slightly more airflow, slightly more air spread with these blades and the XLR blades as well. Now let's switch it off. Next, let's put the XLR blades on this and do a test run. So it was now the 3 star with XLR blades, let's do a test. Being a 16 pole motor, it's not spreading much air with these blades, but yeah, it's good enough to give you sleep compared to what these blades gave on the 12 pole motor of the XLR. Decker is a 16 pole, but that comes in 4 blades, so that works well. But it's, it's satisfactory, I can say that. But in peak summer, it won't give you much satisfaction. Now let's turn it off. Now, as you can see, you have seen, that's the comparison. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or if you suggest me for more comparisons, I love to do it in the near future. So yes, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video coming really soon.